Today, I'm going to show you the goods. Typically, when I do videos about my wardrobes, I focus on capsules and concepts. For me, understanding the thinking and decision-making others employ is what's most helpful. But I've learned from many of you that sometimes it's really useful to get the big picture. With that in mind, let me show you my entire minimalist wardrobe, every last piece. One of the hardest categories for me since I had babies and my body changed has been tops. I carry more weight around my midsection than I used to. I realize this is relative and I'm still quite slim, but the types of tops that I used to like aren't my go-to anymore, and I'd say I'm still figuring out what I like now. Currently, I have three apparently very wrinkled t-shirts and a handful of black tank tops that I wear as undershirts. I have a black ruched t-shirt that I bought from a maternity line, as well as two oversized t-shirts, one in navy and white stripes and one in olive. Last fall, I bought two sweaters. Nothing that I used to wear fits anymore, so I had to start from scratch here. These were staples in my wardrobe this winter, and I particularly love the versatility of the cardigan, which can be worn buttoned up or open and looks great with dresses and pants. I also have a casual sweatshirt that I completely forgot to include in this section, but you'll see it later in the video. The area that continues to be a big collection in my wardrobe is jackets and coats. I just love them and they seem to proliferate, though I probably have one third of what I had prior to becoming minimalist. In this collection, I have options for all weather, as well as varying levels of casual to formal. I also have a couple that don't really fit, but I'm hanging on to them for now. We shall see what happens with those. Of course, many of you will have seen my jean jackets. These are staples in my wardrobe and worn almost every day. I've always loved having a jacket to finish off an outfit, and these two do that for me in most cases. Now on to bottoms. I'd like to expand my options, but right now I have black leggings, black bike shorts, and the jeans you've seen me wearing. They're from Ginger and Dandelion, a small denim company that offers jeans designed for postpartum moms and women who experience stomach issues. My leggings are from Blanqui, which sells maternity and postpartum clothing. The bike shorts are also from Blanqui and they're designed for postpartum. I'm thinking about retiring them for summer though because they have a waistband that goes up to the rib cage and it's way too hot for that season. So I'll probably be looking for different styles of shorts this year. My favorite clothing to wear in the summer is my dresses. And I'm really happy with the collection I have right now. Three of the dresses are from Carly Jean Los Angeles which is one of my new favorite online stores. This floral dress is from TJ Maxx a few years back, and this linen dress was a gift from my mom. I'm particularly excited to wear it this spring. For active wear and sleepwear, I keep things really simple. I have a pair of gray leggings, gray shorts, and I wear my husband's exercise shirts. For sleepwear, I have an old pair of maternity sweatpants and a couple old t-shirts. I'd like to improve on the sleepwear collection because it's a little sad. 
Bags are an area where I used to own dozens, but the freedom of just a couple options is so liberating. Most days I use my leather tote from Madewell. In some cases, I opt for one of these canvas bags. Steve and I also share a backpack from when we're out with the kids. And now the shoe collection. I have eight pairs and a pair of snow boots, not pictured. These Allbirds sneakers have been amazing, but I think they're worn down and need to be replaced this year. I also have my Converse and I like having the option of black and white sneakers. For sandals, I have two pairs of the same shoe in different colors, as well as one pair of heeled sandals. I love this pair of Cole Haan heels. They were my wedding shoes and they were super comfortable for hours of dancing. I also have these black loafers and a pair of heeled ankle boots. I've had this pair for over 10 years. And I forgot I have my house shoes. In the winter, I wear them with warm socks. For socks, I do a set of six black ankle socks, six white ankle socks, and my warm winter socks. I also have my running shoes for exercise and hiking. I have a few items of clothing that definitely don't fit, but that I've still hung on to. They're pretty expensive suits and dresses I bought in the past and would love to be able to wear again one day. I'm not sure that that will ever happen, but I've made the rule that I can keep what fits in this bin. There are a few things that I think are still missing from my wardrobe loungewear that isn't truly embarrassing to be seen in. I'd love to have a pair of boots that aren't heeled, but I'm working on rebuilding my wardrobe since having kids and just doing a few pieces at a time. Since minimizing my wardrobe, I've found a few tips that have made the process easier. First, I used to be determined bins. I put my clothes in bins to test living without them. Initially, I had six, but I've gotten it down to just one. Second, I forgive myself a lot. Every time I purchase something for my wardrobe, I do it with the best information I have at the time. For instance, I bought a few dresses last summer and then discovered I prefer dresses with floral patterns because they hide the effects of sticky little hands. It can be a bummer, but I'm learning how to dress myself for this new season of life, so sometimes I make mistakes. Third, if you're in a new season of life that's impacting your wardrobe, try adding just a couple new pieces at a time. Fourth, and finally, when it comes to your wardrobe, consider if you'd prefer freedom or options. This is a minimal mom idea. Every item in our wardrobe is added mental load. More options to pick from, clothes to clean and maintain, items to keep track of. Less clothes tends to equate to more freedom. Thank you for watching today and until next time.